and I got them for retail and I actually can't believe it. Wow, I look so sexy right now with my plaited hair. This tracksuit would have been a goner. Do you know what? Like, I really love this bag. We're going to go for a little walk to Harrods. Well, a very happy, well, good morning to you all. I look like absolute trash. <laughs> I feel like it as well. Went out last night. Do you know what? Before I moved to London, I never really used to drink much. And then since being here, I've turned into an alcoholic. I feel like because where I used to live, I had to drive like everywhere to get anywhere. And it was always just so much hassle. Because obviously if you've had a drink, you can't drive. In London, I never drive. And there's always someone saying like, do you want to go for a drink? <laughs> so honestly, it's been a heavy few days. But my life has been boring for like a solid year. So just trying to like allow myself to have some fun. But yeah, excuse the state of me this morning. Can you guys believe I still don't have a kettle? So every single time I want a cup of tea, I am still heating a pan of water. I just, I don't really love the toaster that I got. You know the, I'll quickly show you it as we're here. Sorry, it's this toaster. I mean, it's all right. I just don't really love it that much. So I didn't really want to get a kettle to match just in case I ended up getting another toaster. But then I feel like that's just a waste of money. And yeah, basically, long story short, I'm still boiling the pan. I'm also going to have some breakfast because, well, I am just starving. I actually didn't eat that much yesterday. You know, like usually when you're drunk, you eat loads. But at the minute, obviously, you have to book everywhere. So we ended up eating in two different Asian restaurants. But I only had, like, sushi. Um, and what else did we have? Like, tempura prawns, which are my favourite food ever. I don't really feel like it's the most filling, you know? So I'm having my trusty favourite this morning. A gluten-free bread, as you all know. <laughs> with um, avocado and sun-dried tomatoes. Anyway, I have my tea. I have my toast. And I shall see you when I look a little bit more presentable. <laughs> Okay, I've done my makeup. I feel a little bit more alive. What is that noise? But nice. And I am ready to actually show you some pieces that I picked out this week from Boohoo. I actually did the biggest order. I've already worn a couple of the pieces. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have already seen those. But there's loads more to show you. So I'm going to try everything on now. By the way, do you like my new tracksuit? I got this yesterday. It's from, it's from the brand called the Pangaea. I thought that brand was called Pangaea, but apparently not. They told me in the shop it's Pangaea. And yeah, I decided to get the pink one. I did also really like the purple one, but it was really thick and heavy. So I went with the pink instead. I'll actually show you it in full length. I'm also going to show you my new trainers. You guys, I've really started to go into a little bit of colour for spring, summer. I mean, you all saw my bag in the last video. I'll show you it again in a minute with an outfit. But yeah, I feel like colours are really what we all need in our life right now. Okay, my tracksuit really needs a good iron. Do you know what? There's actually a funny, what well, was nearly not a funny story about this tracksuit. Yes, it was in an Asian restaurant. My carrier bag with this tracksuit in was underneath the table. And because we were eating on like the curbside, because obviously the restaurants have to be outside at the moment, the table was on like a bit of a slant and our menus were tucked underneath the soy sauce the wind blew the menu blew the soy sauce off of the table and it all went into the bag that had this tracksuit in honestly i jumped and i grabbed my bag out of the way and i was obviously scared it was going to go all over me as well anyway it went all inside the bag but thank god like there is a god because these tracksuits come in like plastic carrier bags like they're wrapped up in plastic or i think it's like biodegradable plastic because everything this company do is like good for the environment and stuff basically but um yeah so it didn't get ruined which <laughs> i honestly can't believe because it should have got wrecked like if it was a normal situation where usually they just put the clothes straight into the bag this tracksuit would have been a goner anyway i picked this jumper up in a size medium it's all very like oversized fit and then the joggers i got well when he tripped over in a size small i just think it's really fun and cute for summer i literally live in tracksuits and it also goes really nicely with my pink nikes as i'm going to show you too here are my beautiful dunks which i was talking about how cool are these i honestly got such a bargain with these basically all the trainers i own which are a fair few now blowing my own trumpet but it's a few i've paid for them all like way over retail because i always get them from resellers it's so hard to get these trainers for retail price anyway the other day i got lucky when i was out shopping and I got them for retail and I actually can't believe it. So yeah, I'm feeling very smug about it. The crazy thing as well, the day before I'd messaged my trainer guy and said to him, like, can you get me these? And he said they're £350 for my size. And I got them for 89 
So I'm absolutely buzzing and aren't they cute? And they go so nicely with my new tracksuit. <laughs> anyway, I have got the biggest Boohoo order to show you guys because I did a massive online shop and yeah, I'm excited to show you what I picked out. So I'm gonna show you everything on. I'm gonna do a little try on in my mirror. You know, I like to do that. Okay, so guys, I picked up a lot of shirts. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you know I love like the whole look with a shirt over the top of like a pair of jeans and a crop top or something similar to that. I just love shirts in general because you can wear them all year round. And for me, like I'm a jacket, I mean if you will know me from autumn winter, I love a coat, I love a jacket, they're my favourite things ever. And I feel like in spring summer shirts for me kind of replace my jackets. So I picked up a few. So the first one is this kind of plaid white and blue oversized shirt. Now I picked this up in a size 12. My regular size is like an 8 to 10. It is very oversized though. I think it was already meant to be oversized. Kind of looks vintage in my opinion. I know not everyone likes the oversized things. So if you don't like that, 100% just get your regular size or size down. Underneath, I've just got on this little white crop top with it. But yeah, I just love how a shirt goes with a pair of jeans. I'm actually going to show you... I think I have like another four shirts so this is the first of four <laughs> okay I feel like this next shirt could be my favorite one because it's all of my favorite colors lovely neutrals beiges this is the one that I've already worn on Instagram so I didn't actually realize this but I actually picked this up in a size 16 so I sized up quite a lot in this it's not actually as big as the blue one though like I guess because it's not as long but yeah, obviously the size is very oversized, but I like that of course. So this shirt, I've already tried it. It goes really great with like cream jeans, or blue jeans, um, cycling shorts, like it's got multiple different ways you can wear it. I though today have popped it on with a little pair of neutral joggers. These are also from Boohoo and I picked these up in my regular size, which is a size 10 and they are quite an oversized fit. And the great thing about this outfit is, in my opinion, I think it looks pretty cool, but it's also so comfortable as well, which when it comes to outfits, is a winner all round for me. <laughs> okay, next outfit, I'm just steering away, by the way, ignore the mess of my apartment right now. Should have kind of like tidied up the cushions in the background, but... I didn't, so we'll just ignore that. Anyway, the next outfit, I've come away from shirts just for a minute to show you this jacket. This very much gives me like Hayley Baldwin vibes. So it is a bomber jacket, which I'm so into, but it is like a faux leather one. How cool is this? I have a khaki bomber jacket, which honestly I never stop wearing. So the fact I now have this black leather one has made me so happy because I know I'm actually going to wear this so much. So it's got silver detailing on it. I got it in. I actually don't know what size I got it in. Let me just tell you. I picked it up in a size 14. So sized up three sizes. And for me personally, this fit is perfect. I wouldn't want it to be tight. I don't like leather jackets when they're tight personally. I always like them to be like oversized like this. I do think though this jacket would be really perfect for like nights out. So like imagine this with like a black pair of jeans and a black pair of heels. I think could look really good. Obviously I have dressed this down. I've just actually got on that same white t-shirt which <laughs> this t-shirt is going to feature in pretty much every outfit. But then I've popped it on with these sort of like baggy ripped jeans, which I also absolutely love. So I love having like a little rip on the knee. I think it's really cool and it's really back in as well this season. I picked these up in a size 10. They fit really well around my waist. And this is a very, well, I mean, all these outfits are very me because I picked them. <laughs> but this is a very, very me outfit. This is the kind of thing I wear on like an everyday basis it's really comfy i think it's really like classic obviously like with the black against the denim and the white and it's just an outfit for me you just can't go wrong with but like i said you could definitely wear this in a dressed up way so this jacket would be perfect for like drinks get yourself a little black pair of heels and yeah you'd be good to go i really really love this jacket I think it's absolutely great. I also just quickly wanted to show you how this leather jacket looks with cycling shorts because I really like this look as well and it's really comfy and this is the kind of thing like I would personally wear on like a day out because you could wear this with a pair of heels which I haven't got on right now but yeah you could put a pair of heels on and you would be good to go. These cycling shorts also from Boohoo and I got them in a size 10 but they are quite big and they're very stretchy so I would recommend you to probably size down to be honest there's enough stretch if you size down but yeah i feel like they look really cool with this white tee and this jacket 
I feel like this jacket has become my favourite thing. I thought the shirt, you know, the um, neutral shirt, I thought that was going to be my favourite. But I have really fallen in love with this leather jacket. It's so good. Okay, we are back onto shirts. This one is fabulous. So I picked this up in a size 12. Not too much of an oversized fit though. It's quite kind of just regular sizing I'd say. It's actually got like a denim feel to it. Well, it's like a linen denim. So it's not quite like as thin as linen. So that's why I'm saying it's more like denim. But it's really nice. If I get a little bit closer, can you see? It's kind of like an oatmeal colour, which is gorgeous. Absolutely love it. Once again, would look great with denim jeans. But right now I've got it on with a nude crop top, as you can see here. And then I've got it on with a pair of nude cycling shorts. So it's a very neutral kind of vibe i feel like slightly kim k in this outfit unfortunately though have not got kim k's body or not even close to it but once again i feel like this is just really good for like every day really casual and great as kind of the weather gets a little bit better as i say you could easily wear like the top with a pair of jeans if you don't want to wear cycling shorts because i get they can be quite revealing okay shirt number 20 told you guys i have a real obsession with shirts but here we are. I'm just feeding my obsession over here. And you know what? They're all like really affordable prices. So just allow me. I've got a little nude crop top on underneath. I'd just like to say how comfortable this top is. It's also like the silkiest material as well. I also picked it up in cream too. Um, because they come in like loads of different colours, but yeah, really rate it. And over the top, once again, an oversized shirt. This is so oversized that you could actually wear this as a dress though, which I do kind of like the idea of, so I might actually wear this as a dress instead at some point. But I picked this up in a size 12, and yeah, it's very big indeed. Then my jeans. I am so pleasantly surprised by these jeans. I thought I was only really going to like the ripped jeans, but I really love these as well. So they are like a darker blue mum jean. And they fit really good. I have them in a size 10. And they're just slightly baggy around the waist. But I like that. And then if I move back and just show you them in full. So they are a mum jean. Did I really tell you that? And they just fit so perfectly. And they were a bargain of a price as well. I think they look really great. In fact, I know. I say this about lots of my outfits. But... I really like this. And the thing is, well, in summertime, you can take it off and then just like, wear the little crop top. I don't really often like doing that because I like to be a little bit covered up. But if it gets hot enough, you can take it off as well. By the way, I got really drunk the other night and I have all these random bruises all over my body. Do you ever just wish you could like film yourself drunk? I mean, I kind of wouldn't want to do it because it could be horrific. But like, how did this bruise get there? Like, I'm just so unsure. <laughs> so this is a co-ord set. And this takes comfort to a whole new level. So it's like a chocolate brown colour and it's shorts and a hoodie. Now I picked it up in a size medium. You guys are going to be sick to death of me saying this all the time, but it is a little bit big. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like I always used to be a medium in everything. Like that was always my size. And now all of a sudden, I just feel like everything in a medium is just too big for me. So I might start trying to buy things in a small more often. All that being said, because this is only like a little tracksuit, it is actually fine, the fact it's a bit big. But yeah, I do feel like it's definitely meant to be an oversized fit. I'd probably recommend to you guys to size down. It's kind of a great alternative to a full tracksuit, which obviously, well hopefully, if we have good weather, will be way too hot in like next month hopefully so these short options are a great one and the material is so good like it's not too thick but it doesn't feel like cheap it actually feels really nice and yeah i love the color of it too this chocolate brown i think it's pretty great but i am gonna reorder it in a size small because i just feel like especially the shorts they just kind of drown me a little bit Okay, next outfit is a little pop of colour, which I think is quite fun. So let's start with my top. So my top underneath is the same as the nude one that I've showed you. Told you it comes in multiple different colours. And here it is in white as well. So very silky and comfortable, which I'm here for. Then the shirt. Do you love it? Do you hate it? I think it's quite great. The reason I think it's great is it perfectly matches my trainers can you see i'll move back and i'll show you properly in a minute matches my trainers but it also matches a bag that i've got anyway i've kept on the same jeans i showed you not long ago as well the mum jeans because i just love the fit of these then we've just got on my nike dunks which i think look quite cool with the shirt i'm going to show you the bag with the full outfit so here it is with my new balenciaga bag what are we thinking guys are we thinking it's a vibe are we thinking it's not a vibe do you know what like i really love this bag i think it's so cool like i absolutely love the color of it 
The only reason I'm having doubts is not because I don't like it, because I genuinely do, and I know a lot of people don't, but I really do, and I love the colour. The only reason I'm doubting it is, is it ever going to go with anything? What do we think about it with this outfit? Do we like it? Do we hate it? Let me know, guys. What do we think? Thanks. <laughs> and then the last thing I picked up was this dress. And some of you might be thinking it's not very me. And you'd be very right in thinking that. It isn't. But I think it's really cute and I wanted to show you anyway. So it's kind of like really thick material. It's almost like denim. And you can't see through it, which is great. Like you can't see your knickers at all, which is fab. I think a lot of people would love this. You know, you could wear it to like barbecues. It would look really cute with like sandals. But also, if you were pregnant, which I'm not. But if you were, it would be fabulous for that. Because look... Kind of like would be great with a bump that's just my thoughts but i think it's really cute and as i say i would definitely wear it to a barbecue or something it might not be my style but sometimes it's nice to wear things that aren't your style imagine this with like a denim jacket over it or one of the multiple shirts that i've just showed you <laughs> anyway everything i've showed you will be linked down below so if you want to go and shop it all it will all be there easy to shop and yeah i hope you enjoyed some of the things that i showed you and now I'm gonna get my like running gear on. I'm not gonna run, but I'm gonna go for a really long walk. I am actually just about to go out for a walk. My friend Abby is here. Is there a hole in these things? Abby, do you wanna be in the um I'm not the sure vlog? Oh yeah, I look great. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go for a little walk to Harrods and see what we can get. I'm literally just in gym gear. We look very casual indeed. But also, eating these, these are my favorite. These are the Marks and Spencers milk chocolate rice cakes they're so good but might have a hole in so i'm a bit worried they're gonna be stale which isn't great the weather today is glorious well we tripped and fell into harrods i couldn't really film too much in there they actually don't mind you filming in harrods to be honest but i did a sneaky bit of filming on my phone i just feel like ever since the lockdown i get like kind of anxious when i vlog in public but this is just me showing you a few pieces that I loved in Fendi and I just show you a few other bits that we saw around the store. decided to have a little bit of a snack in this cute little place and this is what we have so I actually don't really know what I've ordered to be honest but it looks interesting little dips Abby's looks very pretty lots of bread and look how cute it is in here good morning everybody how are we all I hope we're all good I can't remember I left you yesterday I think we had just been for lunch which well, it was actually more like dinner um it was bloody freezing cold but it was a uh, it was a really nice place. It was called La Opera. I think it was something like that. Probably said it completely wrong. It was just off of the Brompton Road. It was the loveliest place. Um, I just picked the wrong thing, unfortunately. But my friend's food, who didn't pick the wrong thing, was really nice. Um, so yeah, I would actually recommend it. It was a gorgeous little spot. But yeah, I went to Harrods. We only did window shopping. I didn't buy anything. I was so, so tempted to treat myself to a Balenciaga denim jacket. I've wanted one for years. I think I've even said to you guys on vlog about it. And they have this one in Harrods. So cool, I tried it on and everything, but I didn't do it. The price just was making me like squirm slightly. Um, and I didn't, so the only thing I got was this Laura Mercier concealer. The reason I got it is because someone recommended it on YouTube and was saying like how good it is. And yeah, I mean, I've used it this morning can't say I'm rating it at all like really 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 don't like it and it cost me 25 pounds <laughs> so yeah that's not so great I also needed to get like bronzer powder everything and I didn't get any of it so really did a great shopping trip not but yeah maybe this will get better in time like when I learn to use <laughs> how much is there learning to do when you use a concealer like I feel like I just don't really love the consistency of it but anyway anyway it's currently like eight in the morning i have obviously just got myself up well not quite i've been up for a while obviously and i've just done my hair and done my makeup because today is a shoot day i'm shooting today with my friend nadia 
um the weather at the minute is kind of annoying i always love to shoot in weather when it's like really bright sunshine very particular about the weather it makes such a difference when you're shooting content um and at the minute it's really cloudy it's meant to brighten up at 11 so fingers crossed for that um but i actually just need to put some outfits together for me to go and shoot pretty much um and then i've actually got a i've got a really nice day lined up it's a very busy day i have a lot of work on and then i'm meeting my friend kate and we are doing a pilates class which should be really fun um and yeah i just thought i'd continue the vlog today hello 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 i am the shittest youtuber in the world because i've just been to shoot and it took i got there at 11 and it's now two o'clock and I completely and utterly forgot to film when I was shooting. The thing is when you shoot, you just have to get it done. And also where we were, there's like parking restrictions and stuff. So we were so paranoid we were gonna get a parking ticket. So it just wasn't really like on my mind to get my vlog camera out. Anyway, I'm back home now. And I have like an hour before I have to go to Pilates. I'm so hungry. This is what I've had. I don't know if eating two slices of bread is really the thing to be doing before a Pilates class, but I'm hungry and that's what's happening. So yeah, I'm gonna sit here, eat this, look through some of the photos that we took. Hopefully some good ones. The weather today is stunningly beautiful. Apparently rain the rest of the week. So typical, it's my birthday, isn't it? But um, yeah. You know, whatever, it is what it is, sunny bit of weather, it doesn't rain inside of Harrods, does it? <laughs> I'm gonna eat my, of course, I've got avocado, sun-dried tomato, but I also did peanuts, butter, and honey on the other slice. I'm gonna eat this, and I'll pick up with you when I'm on the way to Pilates. Hello everyone, so, I'm just gonna insert a little clip of the Pilates we just did. It was a reformer Pilates, and it was amazing like honestly i've had the best afternoon ever it's felt like a therapy session i can't wait to go back i've never done i've done pilates before but not reformer pilates so it's obviously the one with like the apparatus like the bar and things i don't know all like the technical terms so if i'm telling you anything wrong now i do apologize but um yeah my friend kate had done it before so it was her idea so it was kate nadia and i we all did it together and it was so good like honestly it was great so the place we went to i actually have a bag from them they gave me a little bag it's called pilates in the clouds and it's like a beautiful view overlooking london and it's just like so zen and you really stretch yourself out and it's just great i just couldn't recommend it more like i say i just have kind of like come out skipping pretty much and like i say you feel like a weight's lifted and that's what i'm saying about the fact that it feels like therapy because i just feel so much better about myself right now i'm literally just walking home i'm sorry by the way i didn't feel more i was just kind of like when i first got there i was a little bit nervous and then like by the end um it was all kind of over but like next time i'll definitely feel more um but yeah i'm just walking home when i get in i have some parcels to pick up from concierge which i don't think i can show you in this vlog which is a bit annoying but i will show you in the next one and then i just need to clean my whole apartment <laughs> because it's a little bit of a mess to say the least and then tomorrow um like my family are coming because it's my birthday on wednesday i don't know when this vlog will be going up it might actually be going up on my birthday actually it might be going up on my birthday I cannot wait to show you guys what I got from Farfetch. I have another box down here as well. That will be coming in my next vlog. I am currently though just cooking up an absolute storm. <laughs> as you guys can tell. I'm having a stir fry this evening. And do you know what I think is weird? Like when you put vegetables into a pan. This was like overflowing when I first put them in. And now it doesn't really look like there's a lot here. But I'm going to be adding these prawns, which I got from Sainsbury's the other day. They've got garlic and pasta, and I'm actually going to have all of the prawns, because why not? And also put on some sweet chilli sauce. So yeah, healthy dinner after my very healthy Reforma Pilates class. Which honestly, guys, I am still feeling on top of the world from. Well, I won't be entering MasterChef anytime soon, but it's healthy, it's fresh, and home cooked. And for once, I didn't get delivery. Are you proud of me, guys? Okay, I've eaten my food, and um, now I need to clear up this apartment. I actually would love to show you the state of it, but I feel like I'm just going to expose myself too much, and I feel like you're all just going to be gobsmacked at how bad it is. But basically, like, 
I just spent a weekend where I was just kind of like going in and out. I kind of, I feel like I've been treating this place like a hotel room and it's not, it's actually where I live. <laughs> And yeah, I just need to sort it out and pretty much my auntie is coming tomorrow And so is my mum and my sister and they are going to well I would never leave it like this. I'd never let anyone in here to see it look like this. So It's currently 10 p.m. I have the whole place to clean like fully deep clean and Then I actually need to edit this video and I need to be up at 6 a.m. Because I have a full day of work before wednesday so yeah that should be fabulous i'm probably gonna get like four hours sleep but i'm committed to my work and committed to tidying my shit of a flat so yeah update i've been cleaning for all of about four minutes and um had a little break i'm currently watching sophia and chintzia on the big screen so yeah the cleaning is going really well i've just ended up procrastinating and doing this instead my hair looks like i'm wearing a wig hello everybody i have been cleaning for the best part of god it feels like three hours i didn't manage to edit any of this vlog because well I've been cleaning and I've decided as it's one o'clock in the morning I am just going to get myself ready for bed instead otherwise tomorrow I'm just going to be useless if I start editing this vlog now I'll probably be up until 4am and tomorrow I have a lot I need to do so instead I'm going to go to bed my alarm is set for 6 6am I'm going to get up I'm going to do what I need to do and I'm going to try not time block my day out so that's the plan anyway. By the way, I'm just, so I've been starting to use some different um, reusable facial pads. I usually use the Garnier ones, really like those, but I got these in a Ren skincare gift package. And these are from a company called Bambo. Bambo? Might be saying that wrong, but they come in this cute little bag. And then when you use them, all, I can then wash them in the washing machine in this little bag, which is very handy indeed. It saves all of the kind of rubbish that normal cotton wool pads bring to your life. So yeah, I'm just taking off my makeup. By the way, at the moment, my hands are so dry and it's making my fake tan look this horrific around my wrists. It always looks worse on camera though, like so much worse on camera. It doesn't look like this in real life. I'm just gonna quickly go through my like skincare routine. It hasn't really changed much though since the last time I showed you. I'm still using the Alumia, whatever it's called, purifying gel cleanser on my face. So I use this first. And then, so I don't really like mixing up my skincare too much because I feel like I break out a lot. God, I look so shiny right now. But I have been trying out this, like I can never help myself trying out new stuff. So this is the Ren Summer Limited Edition Daily AH Tonic. It's in cucumber scent. It smells so good. So I've been using this the last week or so. And so far, I'm actually really, really liking it. And I have the odd spot, but I've always got the odd spot. Like, that's just the way it is. I put a little bit onto a reusable cotton wool pad and pop it all over my face. It's always amazing when I do this bit, how much makeup is still on my face after taking my makeup off. Like, doing this tonic part just shows me how much makeup is left on our faces that we never know about. Let me quickly show you this cotton wool pad. It is crazy. Like, I thought my face was clean. It's mad. Next is the Alpharet Overnight Cream. And this is by Skin Better Science. I don't know if it's called that. I get this from Dr. Nina. Um, she is like my skin specialist. And she just knows her shit, basically. I have to say, I know some of you might be thinking my skin doesn't look great. But like... My skin is really good at the moment for me. There's like a few marks and stuff on it, but yeah, overall, I'm really happy with it right now. So fingers crossed it continues. I always break out every now and again, but right now I'm pretty good. Whilst I let that just sink into my skin a little bit, brush my teeth, and I'm still using the Spotlight Oral Care um, toothbrush by the way, guys. I worked with them a little while back and I was already using the toothbrush before then but I worked with them a little while back and well it was actually like eight months ago now I'd say. Been using the toothbrush ever since and 
and absolute, well, obviously I rate it, I've been using it eight months, but genuinely, best electric toothbrush I've ever used, and the battery life on it is unbelievable. Like, it literally, no word of a lie, lasts like three months. It's so great. I am actually in the middle of whitening my teeth at the moment, so I use this tooth whitening stuff that I actually got from my dentist, which... I've been using it on and off ever since I got my teeth done, pretty much, and it is, and I'm actually unsure what it is, but I'm going to link my dentist down below, and it's the best teeth whitening stuff I've ever used. You just do it at home. If you haven't got the trays, you have to get the trays like made for your teeth. Um, I already had them because obviously I had Invisalign, so I just used those trays. You just pop the teeth whitener into your tray, click it in, and that's it yeah it is literally so simple and it does make your teeth so white these syringes last seven days you have to do it every day for seven days i only really do it like i don't know when i know i'm going out and stuff obviously because it's my birthday this week i thought i would make extra effort for myself and whiten my teeth slightly because why not it does make your teeth a little bit sensitive though but nothing too crazy and then the last steps of my nighttime routine are well this one i've actually been using for ages so this is the ren brightening dark circle eye cream so yeah i find this really good i use this morning and night time obviously just on oh my god have i got none left do not tell me this i oh, know we're good we're good we're good and it is very good just for kind of like the under eye area i find my under eyes are so well i think everyone's under eye skin is so thin but mine i just feel like it's so thin and then the last thing now i used this before so this is the ren overnight balm it broke me out so much and i just was like i can't use this again but i love like absolutely love how it feels on my skin so i've started using it again i've been using it now for at the same time we've been using the tonics it's been like two weeks what is that mark on there odd anyway and so far so good i'm not putting it all over my face like i used to i'm literally just doing it in the corner of my eyes here on my eyelids because they get so dry and they're just a little bit around my mouth and on my forehead it's the nice consistency and your face when you wake up will feel like a baby's bottom which if you don't know what that feels like it's very nice and smooth and last but by no means least i'm actually going to wet my hair slightly tonight so i'm going to put an olaplex treatment on and i'm going to sleep with it in i do this ever so often well i actually do it like once a week um i love olaplex i think it's great great and um yeah it's just good on your hair i also love should I do a hair care video soon? I haven't actually ever done one. Let me know in the comments if you'd like a hair care video because I feel like I should do that maybe if you're interested. Okay, so now my hair is damp. Then I get the Olaplex. So this is the Olaplex number three. I've never actually used any of the other ones. I really want to try the bonding oil. Bonding oil, I think that's what it's called. I do rate so many other hair care brands though, like Moroccan oil. Kerastase. um yeah there's not just like i'm not just set to one hair i'm not set to one anything like when it comes to makeup when it comes to clothes like skincare anything i just love trying out all different things i don't think there's like one brand that does good of everything um and the same for hair care so yeah olaplex is one of my firm favorites but it's not my only favorite which is why i say i feel like a hair care video could be a good thing to do possibly anyway i just add a little bit more to the ends of my hair like so and then i just plait it before bed and then i just use one of my silk scrunchies wow i look so sexy right now with my plaited hair my love heart pajamas i mean wouldn't any man just be so lucky to have me <laughs> lol well that was my really impromptu totally unplanned nighttime routine i didn't plan to do that at all but it's just turned into that pretty much hasn't it kind of scared about how long this vlog is gonna be but let me know in the comments actually do you prefer longer vlogs or shorter vlogs 
feel like I always think I haven't got much footage and then when I start to edit I'm like oh my god this is gonna be like 40 minutes long so do you prefer shorter vlogs I don't know let me know guys I'm so excited I have so much new bedding down here it's all from dusk which I've heard amazing things about but I'll show you my next vlog when I put it all on my bed. But I'm going to put on, this is like one of my favourite things I got just recently. It is the Neom Diffuser. I told you guys I'd give you an update on it. And all I can say is, everyone needs one in their life. It is the best thing ever. I love it so much. It makes my room smell like a spa. I put it on every night, which is my favourite. And here's my cute little crystals next to my bed. How sweet am I? Well, I'm in bed right now and I'm looking very kind of greasy and not so glamorous. But I'm actually just going through your comments on my recent video. And because I only uploaded the recent video tonight. And I just want to say you guys are so cute. Sorry if you can hear the diffuser like bubbling in the background there. Might sound a little bit weird, but anyway. I just want to say you guys are so cute like every single time I get comments from you I just think like we're all good friends like it's so weird I feel like I have so many mates on the internet it's just the oddest thing but yeah I just want to say thank you to you guys thank you for watching this video and I hope so much you're all keeping safe and well and I also hope so much I will see you in oh my god I thought I had a noise then living on your own can be so freaky sometimes this is one thing actually about this apartment though I don't actually get very scared just sometimes a little bit anyway thank you guys for watching and i think i already said that but i mean it's okay to say it again and yeah hopefully i'll see you in my next video but anyway send you all so much love and goodbye